Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining me today. It's the first weekend in spring of 2021. I'm here with Allie. We're on a hunt today for some wild edibles. I've been learning about a number of things that bloom first weekend of spring. So let's get out and have a good hunt. Let's see what we find and go have a good time. Let's go. So we found one of our first bucket list items today. Allie spotted our first batch of fiddlehead ferns. Check it out. This is what we're looking for. We pull these ferns. You know, the nice little curl there. One about two inches of fern. That's what it looks like, the fiddlehead. But look at them all popping up. And the rule, the rule with these fiddlehead ferns is, even though there's a lot coming off each plant, you really want to take only about half. Because we want to let these, these plants continue to propagate and grow because this is all their new growth. And if you take it all, guess what? Plant's not going to come back next year. So what an awesome find. Al, you want to pick some of these while we're here? Now, if they get too bushy, you want to leave them. You want these, you want these guys here that are more curly, without a lot of the the foliage coming off. Yeah, you know, that's a good one too. I think there's a few growing off of this plant right here. Those look a little mature. These guys are still a little young. We're also going to be finding some stinging nettles, which are right here. I'm not going to touch it right now, but these are the stinging nettles. That we want, gonna grab these little shoots on the top, and they're gonna be fantastic. So we got some more fiddleheads over here popping up. These look a little too mature. Might be one or two that are good here, but I also found this plant here. This is another plant that I've been reading about. It's called a cleaver, and it's called a cleaver because it's got like Velcro properties in it. So if you touch it to your clothes or throw it at somebody, it's gonna stick. But this is apparently a really good salad green. How it taste? It tastes like, it tastes like lettuce. It tastes pretty good. I don't mind it. We're gonna get some of this stuff, take it back. We might throw it in our, in our hot lunch later. You can saute it, you can eat it raw, you can throw it in a salad. our next wild edible this is wood sorrel it looks like a, a little clover but this is another one of those wild edibles that I haven't had before I think it's it's supposed to taste lemony Wow it tastes like it tastes like a green grape that's that's pretty awesome take take a taste of that Al Whoa. It tastes like a green grape, what? doesn't it? Doesn't it? It tastes like a green grape. That is amazing. I was told it was taste tart and lemony. And I've seen videos where guys are seasoning, you know, fish and things with it, but it tastes like a green grape. And I don't know if it's because it's spring or where it's growing, but that's pretty dang delicious. So yeah. we're gonna get some of that. That's that good. would be awesome in a salad or a soup or whatever. Oh, now you wanna try it, Al. I did try it. That is pretty awesome. Very delicate. Beautiful stuff, look at that. That's gonna be awesome. We're throwing that in some soup or something later. Some more fiddleheads, guys. Beautiful. Let's take a few here. Put them in the bag and look at all the sorrel growing as well. Let's pick some of that. This is pretty awesome. Pretty cool stuff. What are you picking, Al? Sorrel. There's a bunch of it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard that this stuff, this the red. Uh huh. If you rub it on a nettle burn, it'll um, it'll take the burning away. Okay. Well, hopefully we're not going to get those. Yeah. All right. And that. At nature camp. We'll put this in your bag here. Check out this beautiful crystal clear stream that we found. I bet you there's some wild trout in here, maybe some cutthroats coming up from the ocean. Pretty 
amazing. What a cool camp spot this is gonna be someday in summer. Huge conch fungus, pretty cool. Very old. I think it just snap off if we put any weight on it, but cool find. So this little guy here, this is more stinging nettle. We haven't picked any of it yet because we're gonna wait till we put gloves on and have a separate bag for the nettles. I'm gonna make some nettle tea or nettle pesto later or throw it in some soup, but uh, apparently it's very delicious and nutritious as well, so. Got some more over here. There's a bunch growing out of the ground here. Yeah. Pretty cool. This area is great. I mean, there's a lot of sorrel on the ground too, and the cleavers and stinging nettle. A lot of good stuff in here. All right. Did you pick right here too? One more. Take one more. There you go. Good job, Al. So now we're going to pick some stinging nettles. We've gloved up. When you take a look at the stinging nettle, really what you want, Al is just picking the top, the tips of the new growth. That's really what you want. I'm not sure why, but that's what I've been told. And I think the new growth is going to be the most tender and it's not really going to disrupt the plant. So if you start looking at these plants, there's lots of new growth and they're growing all over the place. So it's not going to take long to uh, to pick a bag full. And I got a separate bag that's doesn't have any holes in it. So we're going to keep all the nettle in there so it doesn't rub up against us and uh, it cause any kind of pain or discomfort on the way home. So. What do you got, Al? More fiddleheads. These ones seem a little different. Right. Get them? Mm -hmm. All right, good job. Nice little patch here. Those look great, Al. Remember to leave some. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few down there, so. Good job. I keep looking over here. There we go. Are these guys here. There's some. Let's see if we can get some of the newer ones. I haven't curled up yet. Good. Got a few more, Al? Yeah, there's a bunch hiding. Well, try not to disturb the soil a whole lot. It's good. We weren't even thinking about this, but this is some primo turkey tail. We're gonna harvest it and make some turkey tail tea. Look at that. That is a beauty. We're at the end of the hunt. We had an awesome day. It was great to be out here with Al. We had fun. We found just about everything we were looking for. We got stinging nettle. We got fiddlehead ferns. We got wood sorrel. We got what else did we get? We got some cleaver. We got some cleaver. We didn't find any of the uh, horse tail, but that's okay. We got to taste all this stuff and now we're going to take it home and uh, make something delicious out of it. But it was fun to, to try something new and uh, very rewarding. So if you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, and I look forward to seeing you in the next adventure. Thank you.